Welcome to Still Worship and Brewing. My name is Randy, and this is a channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. Okay, so what do we got going on today? Today, this is something I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, we are going to make an Irish style whiskey. Okay, this will be pretty interesting. Uh, so you, I don't think you want to miss this. So first things first. Five things you can really do to help us out. Number one, hit that subscribe button. I think it's right down there, I believe. It's easy to do, don't cost you a dime. Number two, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up at the end. Number three, uh, hit that notification bell so you won't miss one. Uh, number four, share us with your friends. And last but not least, leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to make is a single pot, um, a single pot still whiskey, Irish whiskey, that style. Now, why know we can't make Irish whiskey? Because I'm not an Irish, but that's why we're going to make an Irish style. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to be pretty uh, tasty. Okay, so the ingredients we got is I got. 12 pounds of a malted barley. I got four pounds of unmalted barley and one pound of cornmeal. And of course, I'm gonna use daddy's yeast, okay? So this all be pretty good. So the first thing we're gonna to have to do is the unmalted barley and the corn, I'm gonna cook up in this pot and let it hydronize and jalconize and all that good stuff because it's not been malted yet. And uh, it's hard as a rock. Okay, so let me get things set up. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to, uh, I mean, it's my first time of making this Irish whiskey, so if I'm doing it wrong, don't be hard on me, okay? All right, so according to the recipe that I've gathered up, it is, I need, I need to cook my unmalted barley, and I'm going to try to uh, gelatinize, hydronize, whatever you, the case may be. So I got some water here warming up. I'll mix my barley in with it. Hopefully I got a pot big enough. Like I said before, I've been wanting to make this Irish whiskey for a while. Alright, so I got one pound of cornmeal that I'm going to add in with it, just for a little bit of taste. That's about one pound. All right, so I'm gonna bring this up to a simmer. They say that the unmalted barley gives it a uh, kind of a biscuit flavor. Okay. All right. So let me get this done. So, uh, like I said, we'll cook it for a little while, and then uh, we'll move on to the next step, and that will be uh, steeping in the rest of our our malted barley. So we'll be right back. Okay. So it's been about a half hour, and I mean a very low simmer, 
barely come into a boil. You can see it's getting real thick. It's getting uh, one way to check it. If you find a find a whole kernel, taste it. It should be getting kind of soft. That's just about done. So that's going to start releasing them starches out of them grains. Remember, this is unmalted corn and unmalted barley. Uh, according to the recipe I got, it's supposed to be one third unmalted barley and two thirds malted barley. All right, so let me uh, get some hot water into my mash tun and then I'll be back. Okay, just a quick note. I give this a stir. You can see that the grain just about soaked up all the water that I put in there. And I tasted a big seed that I found. And it, it's soft. Okay, so we're getting ready to move on to the next step now. Okay, so I put about just about five gallons of 165 degree water into my mash tun and we're going to start stirring in the grains. How you like that? A friend of my, a friend of the channel, made me a nice uh, mash paddle. Ain't that pretty cool? Thanks a lot, Tom. So let's start stirring in some of this grain. I know that uh, it's going to cool down a lot to, uh, I would really like about 155. So we'll go check it in a minute here and see what. That's 12 pounds of grain there. Let's see what our temperature is. Our temperature is. 147. Okay, so that's, that's pretty close. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix in our grains that we cooked. It's our unmalted and corn. We'll mix that in. Smell is fantastic. Let me bring you over here so you can check this out. 
I hope you can see this. I like the consistency of uh, oatmeal. Let's do a uh, temperature check. One fifty eight. Okay. Okay, so I double checked my temperature. I left the, the lid off for a couple minutes and I'm at 150, 154. I'm going to leave it right there. Put the lid on it. Put the lid on it and we're going to leave it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it two hours uh, because of uh, I want to convert everything over. So I'm going to leave that there for two hours. I'll come back, check it every once, we'll give it a little bit of a stir. Uh, so look, let me get that done. See you after a while. Okay, so it's been about two hours. Let's check out and see what we got here. Let's take us a little sample. Put this. I like to use a white dish because uh, it's easier to see when you do a starch test. We're going to put a drop in there. Did not turn black immediately. If there's starch present, it will turn black right away. And then I shake it, it goes back to the original color. Okay? So, what that's telling me is the uh, conversion from starch over to sugars took place. Like I said, I put a drop in there. It did not turn black. It just, after I shook it just a second, it went back to its normal color when it came out of here. Um, so that's telling me that the starch conversion did take place. So, another thing you can do is you, you taste it, it's going to be real sweet. So there's a lot of sugar there. Okay, so the next thing we're going to want to do is I got me a fermentation bucket here and I put some star sand in it. And just like making beer, we're going to uh, sparge this over. Let me move the camera down so you can see that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to batch sparge, so I'm going to let this all drain out. I'm going to shut the valve off. I'll put some more water in there, stir it up, let it sit for a second, then drain it out until I collect about six gallons. Alright, so let me go ahead and let that drain. Let's uh, check our specific gravity, our starting gravity. And we are looking at 1.080. I'm happy with that. Okay, 1.080. Okay. So the next thing we need, next thing we need to do is let's check our pH. Okay, so let's check our pH here. 6, let's just stop bouncing around.
I'm gonna say five. Oops. About five seven. You know, I'm gonna leave it alone because I think uh, if I read right, I'm remembering right. I think it's uh, six is what they do in Ireland. So I'm showing right there. 5.75 okay measure our temperature about 120 degrees that's a little bit too warm for our yeast okay just a small recap uh, first we're, we're making a uh, Irish style hot whiskey okay uh, so we the recipe what I've read so far is two-thirds malted barley one-third unmalted barley and just a little bit of corn just for a little bit of flavoring okay so what we did first is we took a pot and we took the unmalted barley and a one pound of corn and we kind of cooked that up until it um, hydronized gelatinized uh, you can really see the starch it thickened way up and that took about about a half hour or so so then what we did next after that was just like anything we put 165 degree water in our mash tun we added in our 12 pounds of malted barley uh, then we added in the uh, unmalted and the corn into that uh, so we had a target temperature of about 155. We met that, and then we let we let it uh, in the mash tun for about two hours. We did a starch test. We found that the conversion took place. So then we sparged all our um, grains sparged into our fermenter, and we checked our original gravity. It was 1.080, which I, I'm okay with. And then we checked our uh, pH. It come in, what did I say, 5.75. And I left it at that. Uh, the final temperature is about 120, which is a little bit warm for the yeast. So what I'm gonna do is just put it in my fermentation room for a few hours, double check the temperature. Once it gets down to below 90, then we will uh, pitch our yeast. We're gonna use daddy's yeast. And then we're gonna let it ferment uh, you know, a week, ten days, or two weeks, something in that nature when it's done, and then we're going to distill it out. Uh, I've been looking forward to making this uh, Irish whiskey. I do like it. Uh, this is my first time, uh, so I hope it turns out well. I'm pretty confident it will. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, just to show you that all this stuff is pretty simple. Uh, anybody can do it so you all try it okay so with all that being said you're tired of hearing from me last thing i'm gonna say thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time